Let's have a brief look at Express web framework of node.js. Well, we will be installing Express two times here. Just don't get confused. The first time we install it, it's a global installation so that we could access features of Express globally that is anywhere in this system. Later on, we will again install. This is global installation, by the way. Once more, we will install Express, which would be more like specific to the application. That is, we will be running uh, an example application of this Express shortly. So you need internet connection to download and install this. So before executing this command, make sure your internet connection is up and live. Now get to our node folder and delete everything. I'll clean this up, my folder. I'll just delete this. Now using my express, I'll be creating an application called express underscore example. Just an example to show you a basic working of express framework. So it creates all these files and folders, by the way. It, note that it hasn't installed its dependencies yet. Dependent, dependencies are present inside package.json as usual. Let's have a look at its dependencies. And they are Express and JAD modules. By the way, JAD is a template engine which we will go into further in upcoming videos. Also a brief look at the end of this video. Now get inside this application and install these dependencies. Well, all these files gets installed and you get a folder for separate folder for these modules. And Express recommends these file structures. This is just a recommendation and not mandatory. You could change it, but these are the files installed. These Inside public, we will be storing public access files. Here are the routing informations. Here are the JAT files, the template engines, uh, some layout information. And app.js is the starting point of execution. So let's have a look at app.js, a brief look. You need not worry much about it. It just includes the express and some local modules and the HTTP modules for creating server, a port number of 3000. It binds the view with the variable chat as view engine, fav icon, body parser, which we'll be looking at in the coming videos with connect frameworks, development environment, and finally creating the server with the port number 3000. So people start directly trying to access this server with localhost and a port number 3000. But remember, you need to switch on this server or else it doesn't respond. The browser doesn't know where to actually look for this. So go ahead, use node app.js, start the server. This is the starting point. Now get here and execute it and you'll be up and running the first express based application. Congratulations. Now get inside view and open this JAT file. This is actually a variable which has a string called express inside it. Now once you execute this, it gets parsed to, well, title gets parsed to Express and would be replaced with these things that is h1 to h1 tags and p to paragraph mm -hmm. tags and this parsing will be taken care by JAD template engine which we will be going in detail in upcoming videos. Please share this video with your friends on Facebook, Google Plus, LinkedIn, Twitter, StumbleUpon, etc. Stay subscribed to technotip.com, technotip.org and to our YouTube channel and please don't forget to like this video on YouTube.